Hi everyone. In this video, I am continuing the derivation in the previous uh, video, whatever we have started, that is propagation of waves in rectangular waveguide. Okay, already we have seen, uh, we have considered the rectangular waveguide and calculated what uh, Hz and Ez, nothing but direction of propagation. Z is nothing but direction of propagation. So we have got third and fourth equations like this, dou square Hz by dou x square, dou square Hz by dou y square and H square Hz is equal to 0. That is for TE wave and for TM wave, this is for TM wave. Okay, dou square Ez by dou x square plus dou square Ez by dou y square plus dou H square Hz is equal to 0. Now, using these two partial differential equations, uh, we can calculate the EX, EY and similarly, uh, can we calculate EX, EY, H, HX and HY? We cannot because these, these two equations are having EZ and HZ parameters, not uh, EX and EY. What we need finally, we finally need, we finally need EX, EY, HX and HY. These are the four different parameters finally we need to calculate. Those are the wave equations for x and y directions. But above, using above two partial differential equations like 3 and 4, you can calculate only Ez and Hz. Okay. So that's why in order to calculate these four parameters, we are going for the Maxwell's first two equations. Okay. So to determine, to determine Ex, Ey and Hx, Hy, we go for Maxwell's first two equations. Maxwell's first two equations. So let us take the first Maxwell equation from first Maxwell equation. So what is the first Maxwell equation? Del cross H is equal to j omega epsilon e del cross h is equal to j omega epsilon e so del cross h how can you write this del cross h so you have to write this del cross h with three different parameters or operators i cap j cap k cap dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z and del cross h, h means here we have three different parameters hx, hy, hz, okay, under modulus is equal to j omega epsilon, now it is e, e means again the same three operators will be coming here, i cap ex, plus j cap ey plus k cap ez okay now what is this dou by dou z dou by dou z is nothing but minus delta already we have taken in the previous uh, video okay uh, we know dou by dou z is equal to minus gamma so we can simply substitute that i cap, j cap, k cap, dou by dou x, dou by dou y and it is minus gamma, hx, hy and it is hz. Under modulus is equal to j omega epsilon and it is i cap ex plus j cap ey plus k cap ez. Okay, now just normally apply matrix uh, determination here, uh, I cap into this one, dou Hz by dou y minus of minus plus gamma H, gamma Hy, gamma Hy minus j cap you know this one plus the first one minus again plus so j cap into <coughs> dou by dou x into hz 
So do H Z by do X and again this one this one plus gamma H X plus K cap into K cap into again these two multiplication do by do X do H Y by do X minus do H X by do Y is equal to so multiply individually here it is <coughs> i cap j omega epsilon ex plus j cap j omega epsilon ey plus k cap j omega epsilon ez now we have i cap term on both sides uh, similarly j cap and k cap times on uh, terms on the both sides equate them equate i cap j cap and k cap terms on both sides so what will be having do hz by do y plus gamma hy is equal to j omega epsilon ex okay see here this is the term in with respect to i cap and this is the term with respect with respect to i cap here this is what we have written now okay similarly write the other two equations do h z by do x plus gamma h x is equal to minus j omega epsilon e y and similarly do h z by do x minus do h x by do y is equal to j omega epsilon e z okay this is uh, do y do h y am i correct do h y k cap do h y okay now uh, give the names give the numbers 1 2 3 4 over 5 6 and 7 similarly take the second maxwell's equation from second maxwell's equation what is the second maxwell's equation del cross e is equal to minus j omega mu h okay opposite case first one is the magnetic field it indicates it indicates electric field here and here there it was a mag electric field now it is magnetic field okay same similar operation whatever we have done we need to do here also here i cap j cap k cap and again do by do x do by do y here it is do by do z nothing but minus gamma next this one e x now e x e y e z that is equal to minus j, j omega mu and now it is i cap h x plus j cap h y plus k cap h z okay now again do the multiplication matrix determination and equate finally you will get the equation as i cap do e z by do y 
dou e z by dou y plus gamma e y minus j cap dou e x by dou e z dou e z by dou x plus gamma e x and similarly k cap dou e y by dou x minus dou e x by dou y that is equal to same minus j omega mu i cap h x plus j cap h y plus k cap h z now equate i cap k cap j cap on both sides by equating i cap j cap k cap on both sides so what will be having you will be having do e z by do y plus gamma e y is equal to what is that minus j omega mu h x and next one do e z by do x plus gamma e x is equal to minus j omega minus or plus here it is minus of minus plus because here it is minus okay this minus this minus gone so j omega mu h y and similarly third one do e y by do x minus do e x by do y is equal to minus j omega mu h z take these equations as uh, what are the equations 5 6 7 over 8 9 10 okay now to calculate ex what we need to do we need to finally calculate ex ey hx and hy so in order to calculate that what we need to do we need to just manipulate these three equations with these three equations if you manipulate these three and next three, definitely you will get the equations hx, hy, ex and ey. Okay. We need four parameters, but we have total six equations with us. Okay. So, I will do this calculation in the next video. Thank you.